Well, one of the biggest challenges for us was actually finding people that were willing to do it. Um, it's a fairly exotic project, you know, to approach an architect or a contractor and say, hey, I want to build a net zero commercial building in, you know, a climate that sees snow six months of the year. And you can imagine that we've got some pretty interesting looks. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. When we were doing our four-part Chasing Net Zero series last year, we became aware of a project that we just knew we had to cover. Someone was building a 30,000 square foot net zero office building in South Edmonton. Called the Mosaic Center, it was the brainchild of co-owners Dennis and Christy Cuckoo who knew they had a bit of a challenge on their hands. There were definitely some raised eyebrows, and so when we went into the collaborative process in the beginning of the design, we weren't sure if it was going to be a reality. We didn't know if we could actually do it, so, but we took the chance and we knew, we, you know, let's spend some time and money on doing the design and pulling together the vision for it and see if we can actually do it cost effectively. Net zero houses are one thing. Houses only have a few people living in them and have relatively small energy demand. But a net zero commercial building, that's an entirely different kettle of fish. But they did it. This ten and a half million dollar project is three months ahead of schedule, five percent under budget, and they recently held a media event where Edmonton's mayor, Don Iveson, screwed the last solar panel onto the wall. And while how they got to net zero is important, this building is gorgeous, full of natural light, exposed wood beams, and a three-story living wall in the foyer. That focus on beauty was no accident. Here's the project co-owner, Christy Cuckoo. Yeah. You know, you can throw money at something and make it beautiful and sustainable. That's the reality, you can. But for us to be able to inspire others to want to try to go out and do something similar, we knew that it needed to make sense financially. And I mean, it had to just for us because we aren't developers with deep pockets and, and we needed to operate this building and this, this is an investment for us. It had to make sense for us financially. So sustainable, sustainable and beautiful can coexist and when you put affordability in there, that's where the real challenge occurs. So, um, but this is, I think, a living example of, of how the three can coexist. There are very few overhead light fixtures, only task lighting and natural light. This keeps electricity demand low. And having windows you can open means less energy is spent on cooling the building. And workers get the satisfaction of being able to control their environment and breathe some fresh air. Here's project architect Vedran Skopak on the roof of the Mosaic building. What we're looking at is the almost 700 panels employed in uh, what it is currently the, the largest PV array uh, application, uh, the largest solar system on, on any commercial application in, in, uh, in Alberta, um, which is one of the systems, of course, that we are using to, to achieve the net zero energy. The 213 kilowatt solar PV system is key to making this building net zero. But the secret sauce is the geothermal heating and cooling system. Vedran takes us to the mechanical room. One of the things we, we mentioned earlier was the geothermal system, which you can, which you can see here. The manifolds actually coming, coming out of the ground. Those manifolds go straight under the foundations and connect with the, with the boreholes that are 40, 40, 70 meters deep. So basically the whole uh, uh, northern uh, parking area is a geothermal field. With all of its south-facing glass and concrete floor, this building benefits from a lot of passive solar heat. Sometimes it even gets too much. That's when the geothermal system helps cool down the building. The building was also finished ahead of schedule and under budget because of a commitment to lean process and something called integrated project delivery. We spent six months in the room just strategizing on how we were going to make this project real without even doing any major design work and that's, that's super, super key. The integrated project delivery process was also a big part of it so um, it's really set up so that we don't have any major things I would do different. All the little mistakes we've made we've learned from and we've adjusted on the fly so 
ask me that question again in a year and I might give you a different answer. But right now it's been an ab absolutely amazing process working with the contractor and the architect. So I don't know what else to say. And here's Dennis Cuckoo about nine months later. Uh, I wasn't issued a single change order. Um, you know, two of my new best friends are the architect and the, you know, the site superintendent. So I don't, I don't think that normally happens. I think usually what happens is you, you can't wait for the project to be finished so that you stop you know, bleeding money. Thanks to the integrated project delivery process, the owner, designers and contractors share the risk and the reward of the project. The Mosaic Center is also going for LEED Platinum status and a Living Building Challenge PETAL certification, one of the hardest third-party green certifications you can get. There's a ton of stuff we couldn't fit into the video. Check out our blog, photos, and our podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and tell your friends. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. If you like this episode, check out our episode called How We Built an Earthship, a Radically Sustainable Off-Grid Home on the Prairie. And if you're still listening, you should subscribe to our videos. We produce a new story every two weeks.